Best wishes, dear children. How are you? I hope my wonderful learners are in best of their spirits at your places and enjoying learning sessions with me, Nami Kaur. My dear children, I hope you are at the comfort zone of your towns, your villages, your cities. Dear children, we have a wonderful uh, attachment with the roots, the places that we belong to. Suppose uh, I, for any purpose, am living in a city, but my roots are, my birthplace is in a village. So I will never be able to forget my village. We are emotionally attached to our villages. Today I would like to tell you in my words how much I respect my village, my land, my territory and I miss being there. So very often we go and keep an eye on our land because we never want to lose it. So before I start discussing I would like to share my feelings about my land in my village with you all my dear children. My land is so wonderful, my land means the world to me. My land is my property, my land is my dignity, my land is so wonderful, my land means the world to me. Gives me prosperity, my land makes me happy, happy. My land is so wonderful, my land means the world to me. My land means the world to me. My land means the world to me. means the world to me. My dear children, this is not true only in my case. We all love our land and it is very important to protect our land to stay happy. Dear children, since I told you about my emotions about my land, I hope you all must have been able to relate to the people who owe some land, right? They are your father, your grandfather or maybe people around you, your neighbors who have their own land. Land is something that gives us prosperity. We grow crops on it, we have our fields and then we earn from it, right? So land is like it gives a way of livelihood to most of the agricultural Indian people. It is really emotional for all these people and they want to protect their rights on their land. So dear children, a farmer is always attached emotionally with his land and it holds so much value for the whole family that no one wants to lose it ever. People are ready to sacrifice anything to protect their rights on their property, on their right and therefore Law and order is a must. Let me tell you Mohan's story so that you better understand what I intend to say. Mohan is a farmer. His family owns a small agricultural field, which they have been farming for many years. Next to his field is Raghu's land which is separated from his by a small boundary called a bund. One morning Mohan noticed that Raghu had shifted the bund by a few feet. By doing so, he had managed to take over some of the Mohan's land and increase the size of his own field. Mohan was angry but also a little frightened. Raghu's family owned many fields and besides this his uncle was also the sarpanch of the village. But even so he plucked up courage and went to Raghu's house. 
A heated argument followed. Raghu refused to accept that he had moved the bun. He called one of his helpers and started shouting at Mohan and also started beating him up. The neighbors heard and as soon as they heard this commotion, they rushed to the spot where Mohan was being beaten up. They took him away. He was badly hurt on his head and hand. He was given first aid by one of his neighbors. His friend who also ran the village post office suggested that they go to local police station and file a report. Others were doubtful if this was a good idea because they felt they would waste a lot of money and nothing would come out of it. Some people said that Raghu's family would have already contacted the police station. After much discussion, it was decided that Mohan would go to the police station along with some of the neighbors who had seen him being beaten up during this incident. On the way to the police station, one of the neighbors asked, why don't we spend some more money and go to the main police station in the town? It is not a question of money. We can register a case only in this police station because our village comes in its area of work, explained Mohan. Every police station has an area that comes under its control. All persons in that area can report cases or inform the police about any theft, accident, injury, fight etc. It is the responsibility of the police of that station to inquire, to investigate and take action on the cases within its area. When they reached the police station, Mohan went to the person in charge, station house officer or SHO and told him what had happened. He also said that he wanted to give the complaint in writing. The SHO rudely brushed him aside saying that he couldn't be bothered to waste his time writing down minor complaints and then investigating them. Mohan showed him his injuries but the SHO did not believe him. Children, Mohan was puzzled. He did not know what to do. He was not sure why his complaint was not being lodged, why his complaint was actually not being recorded by the police officers in the police station. How could he prove it? He went straight towards the village and then he called the villagers who were the witness of everything. So he took them to the office, to the police station and there he proved the neighbors at the police station now strongly argued with the police officer that Mohan had been beaten up by Raghu and the helper. So that way they strongly wanted the FIR should be registered. The officer was now convinced. So you saw that Mohan and Raghu were arguing heatedly whether the common boundary of their fields had been shifted. Isn't there a way by which they could have settled this dispute in a peaceful manner? Are there records that show who owns what land in the village? Let's find out how this is done. Measuring land and keeping land records is the main work of Patwari. So, how many of you know who is a Patwari? Can someone tell me what a Patwari is? Correct. The Patwari is known by different names in different states. In some villages, the Patwari is known as Lekhpal or in some others, it is known as Karamchari or the village officer etc. So there are different names by which Patwari is called. He maintains and updates the records of the village. Look here. This is the map and the corresponding details of a register which was a small part of records kept by Patwari. So you can check them as an example. The Patwari usually has many ways of measuring agricultural fields. Can you guess some thing? How is the Patwari able to keep this record? How does he measure whose land is how much? Dear children, in some places a long chain is used. In the above instance, the Patwari would have measured both Mohan's and Raghu's fields and compared them with the measurements on the map. If they did not match, 
then it would be clear that the boundary of the fields has been changed. Dear children, if you live in a rural area, think how many villages does the patwari of your area maintain land records. So this is your task. You have to inquire, you have to get this knowledge. How many villages does the patwari of your area maintain land records of? Also, think of the ways how the people of the village contact him or her. You have to acknowledge how do the people in the village contact him or her. Okay, dear children, let's move ahead. The patwari is also responsible for organizing the collection of land revenue from the farmers and providing information to the government about the crops grown in his area. This is done from the records that are kept and this is why it's important for the patwari to regularly update these. Farmers may change the crops grown on their fields or someone may dig a well somewhere. Children, so as I told you, the khasra is the record of the patwari which gives information regarding the map. Think, look here. In the first column you see number, that is the serial order. In the second column, the heading is the area in hectare, which is given here. Then the name of the owner, father and husband's name. So the details, these are the individual details of the person who holds the land. Uh, again, look here in the fourth column. If it is rented or some other farmer, their name and rent received. So all the details about the rent also is listed here. Then look here in this column area cultivated this year what was the area in which cultivation was actually there means maybe the farmer did not cultivate the whole of his land so how much he actually cultivated and how much he did not cultivate this is the information which is kept here crop grown which crop is grown suppose it is soya bean or it is Rajma or it is rice or wheat. So whatever is grown is listed here and then the area in which it grows. Then you see the, this is the column second crop grown. If he grows another crop that is also mentioned here. Area not cultivated fallow land. So the area as I already told if he leaves some space or some area and doesn't use it that also has to be written here and in the column for facilities it is if you have some well or if you have some motor work or whatever so all the facilities if uh, are available on that land they are also written here so now i hope you know how a khasra a record is maintained by the patwari and this will sort out all the differences. The patwari is also responsible for organizing the collection of land revenue from the farmers and providing information to the government about the crops grown in this area. This is done from the records that are kept and this is why it's important for patwari to regularly update these. Farmers may change the crops grown on their fields or someone may dig a well somewhere and Keeping track of all this is the work of the revenue department of the government. Senior people in this government supervise the patwari's work. Children, all the states in India are divided into districts. For managing matters relating to the land, these districts are further subdivided. These subdivisions of district are known by different names such as tehsil, taluka, etc. At the head of the district collector and under her are the revenue officers, also known as tehsildars. They have to hear disputes. They also supervise the work of the patwaris and ensure that records are properly kept and land revenue is collected. They can make sure that farmers can easily obtain a copy of their record. Students can obtain their caste certificates, etc. The Tehsildar's office is 
where land disputes are also heard. Dear children, don't you think Mohan would have been at ease if he had some legal document to support his say? Yes, dear children. Farmers often require a copy of their land's record together with a map. They have a right to this information. They may have to pay a small fee for this, but they can get it and they should always keep it with them. However, this information is not easily made available and the farmers sometimes have to face many problems to get it. In some states, records are now being computerized and also kept at panchayat office. Dear children, here is a wish of a daughter. I found it very interesting. I would like to share it with you. Look at the beautiful drawing made by this lovely daughter. What has she made? Let's try and check out. It's a hut, it's a place and then there's a boundary and there are two people on the other side and I want a place of my own, not dowry. So she states that I want a place of my own and not dowry. Let's see what she wishes. She writes, Father inherited our house from his father and everyone says he'll leave it to brother. But what about me and my mother? To expect to share in my father's home is not very womanly, I am told. But I really want a place of my own, not dory of silk and gold, not dory of silk and gold, but I really want a place of my own. Dear children, often when we think of farmers who owe land, we think of men. Women are seen as people who work on the fields, but not as people who owe agricultural land. Till recently in some states, Hindu women did not get a share in the family's agricultural land. After the death of the father, his property was divided equally only among his sons. Recently, the law was changed. In the new law, sons, daughters and their mothers in Hindu families can get an equal share in the land. The same law will apply to all the states and union territories of the country. This law will benefit a large number of women. For example, Sudha is the eldest daughter of an agricultural family. She is married and lives in a neighboring village. After her father's death, Sudha often comes to help her mother with the farming work. Her mother has asked the Patwari to transfer the land and enter her name along with the names of all the children in his record. Sudha's mother confidentially organizes the farming with the help of the younger brother and sister. Similarly, Sudha also lives with the assurance that if she ever has a problem, she can always depend upon her share of the land. Now, my dear children, I hope that you have understood the concept of rural administration well. So, are you in a state to answer a few questions if I raise? So, children, if you have understood the concept of rural administration, can I ask you a few questions now to recapitulate? Okay, so that's great. Let me put the first question. What is the work of police? Very right. Police investigates the cases of theft, accident, injury, during fights, etc. And it is the responsibility of the police to investigate all such cases within its jurisdiction. This means every police station works within a geographical area assigned to it. Okay, well done my dear children. Now, list two things that the work of the Patwari includes. Do you know the work of the Patwari? Okay, so Patwari measures the land and keeps the land records and this is his main job. What else dear children? 
Yes, each patwari is responsible for a group of villages. That's correct. Okay, what else? Yes, patwari maintains and updates the records of the villages. Very well done, dear children. So, what is the work of tehsildar then? Correct. Tehsildar collects land revenue. What else? Yes, he provides caste certificate to the students. Okay. What else? Yes, he keeps a track on the work of Patwari. Good. What else? Yes, he makes sure that land records are kept safely. Very well done, my dear children. Okay. In what ways are the work of Panchayat and the work of Patwari related to each other? Yes, Panchayat solves the land disputes and Patwari maintains land records. Good. Okay, now tell me who is the in charge of all the police stations in a district? Hmm. Okay, I'm giving you time for thinking. Um, you might have heard SP. Yes, superintendent of police. Correct. The superintendent of police is the in charge of all the police stations in a district. Well done, my dear children.